A recently completed fish hatchery at Cougar Dam is giving scientists a better understanding of wild salmon and how they move through local waterways. KEZI 9 News photojournalist Kathleen Spencer gives us an inside look at the hatchery, including what scientists have learned. The fish will jump over the false weir and down into a tank that we have down there. The fish that have come here have swam about 400 miles. The new fish facility is designed to help us start and, and maintain a run of wild spring chinook salmon above Cougar Dam. So we have some folks that are collecting different biological information on the spring chinook salmon before they go over the dam. They're collecting scales. Uh, they're getting lengths on fish. Female, 870 female. Taking a genetic sample and then they're gonna load these fish into this raceway over here and then the fish will be transported over the dam. These fish are important to the people of the Pacific Northwest. We focus on the fish, but really what you're talking about is people's lives, whether it's fishing, businesses that are associated with the fishing industry. So it's about people in the end. When we constructed these dams, we basically put a 400-foot wall across this river and prevented these endangered species from getting to their homes. And we have an obligation to help get them back up there and, and pass them back down and, and accommodate their life cycle. Use the truck to drain all that water and the fish into the truck. The ultimate goal with the facility in general is to help sustain uh, a group of wild spring chinook salmon above cougar dam. That's, that's the goal, long term. A project should also help scientists better understand how the juvenile salmon get past the dam and out to sea.